Hello and welcome back to Planet Nibiru. As always, I'd like to take a moment to thank everyone who subscribes, likes, and comments on our videos. It is an honor having you guys as part of our community. As many of us know, the Torrids are an annual meteor shower associated with the comet Enki. They are named after the radiant point in the sky in the constellation Taurus where they seem to come from. Because of their yearly occurrences in late October and early November, they are also known to some as the Halloween fireballs. Enki and the Torrids are believed to be the remnants of a much larger comet which has disintegrated over the past 20 to 30,000 years, breaking into several pieces and releasing material by normal cometary activity, or perhaps occasionally by coming close to the tidal forces of Earth and or other planets, which causes the meteor to shed some of the lighter material near the surface each time. In total, this stream of matter is the largest in the inner solar system. Since the meteor stream is rather spread out in space, Earth takes several weeks to pass through it, causing an extended period of meteor activity. Compared with the much smaller periods of activity such as the beta torrids and other annual showers. The torrids are also made up of weightier material, more like pebbles, instead of the dust grains that you would see in some of the other showers that we pass through on a regular basis. In general, the torrids give us a nice light show, but pose no real threat to our planet. However, scientists have discovered a new branch of the Torrid's meteor stream that could pose a major risk to Earth, with asteroids up to a thousand feet wide flying past us every few years. The Torrid's meteor shower peaks every October and November, producing an annual display of shooting stars as the planet passes through the stream. Meteor showers displays happen when bits of cosmic debris enter Earth's atmosphere and burn up in the sky. Because the torrids are made up of branches and a core, activity levels increase and decrease depending on how much debris the Earth is passing through. Mostly, the meteoroids are about the size of a grain of sand and pose no risk at all. However, if a large enough asteroid enters the atmosphere, instead of disintegrating, it would pass through and hit the Earth's surface. A stark reminder of the risk posed by some of these asteroids and meteors came in 2013 when the 66-foot-wide Chelyabinsk meteor fell over Russia's southern Ural region. A team of researchers from the Czech Academy of Scientists in the Czech Republic has now found evidence to suggest that Earth is at greater risk of being hit by an asteroid than we previously thought. In their study, which is published in the Journal of Astronomy and Astrophysics, the team analyzed data on 144 torrid fireballs that had been filmed with new digital cameras over the 2015 shower period. 2015 was a year of enhanced activity, so that's why they filmed that particular season. They were able to work out the orbits of these fireballs and found that about 113 of them show common characteristics and form together a well-defined orbital structure, which we can call a branch. This branch was found to contain at least two asteroids with diameters of between 650 and 980 feet. An impact from an asteroid of this size would cause a huge amount of damage if it hit a populated area of the planet. The team also found that the branch likely contains numerous undiscovered objects that are at least 30 feet wide. The branch is not new, it has been passing by the Earth every few years ever since it was formed, probably around a thousand years ago. However, now that we know it exists, the researchers say we need to carry out further studies to better understand this real source of potentially hazardous objects. In an email interview with Newsweek, study author Jiri Barifka says that at the present they do not have enough data to quantify the risk that the branch poses to Earth. A systematic search for asteroids within this newly defined branch will need to be conducted in order to find the size, frequency, distribution, and the totally understand the large bodies within the branch. The impact risk increases during encounters with Earth and this new torrid branch. Their findings come just weeks ahead of Asteroid Day, which is June 30th. This event, first held in 2015, is a global awareness campaign to highlight the risk that asteroids pose to Earth. Scientists estimate we have only detected around 1% of the 1 million asteroids that have potential Earth impact. Launching the event in 2014, astrophysicist Brian May said, The more we learn about asteroid impacts, the clearer it becomes that the human race has been living on borrowed time. Scientist Jerry Barifka says that the latest findings should serve as a reminder of the importance of identifying asteroids that could impact the planet adding that she hopes scientists will turn their attention to the Torrid's meteor stream in the future. 
So far, the search for hazardous asteroids has been done all over the sky. We have pointed out a well-defined region in the solar system with a larger concentration of meteoroids and asteroids, which periodically clumps, comes close to Earth's orbit. We hope that people with access to large telescopes will explore this region in detail. She also says the findings reinforce the hypothesis that the torrid stream is a remnant of a giant comet that disintegrated. Some of the debris from this event is thought to have struck the Earth and has been connected with at least one catastrophic event in Earth's history. Our observation gives weight to the hypothesis. Perhaps there was a series of comet or asteroid disruptions and one of the recent ones created this new branch. We believe that our detailed description of this new branch will enable people to explore this hypothesis in more detail than was possible before. So let me know what you guys think. Uh, a lot of I know a lot of folks on here are um, sky watchers, and you guys enjoy um, watching uh, meteors and asteroids, looking at the moon, things like that. So I, I know I do. Um, but get in the comments section. Let me know what you think of this new branch of the Torrids and what you think that, that might happen or bring to our skies in the future. And we'll be back to you with a new video soon.